back home. So none of the glamour for them. And here comes a shot going in and just tipped over the bar. And that was a really good attempt. And in the end, uh, having to make the save. Trigva Tatia with a shot tipped over the top by... And Iceland win a corner. So that pressure has been uh, pretty intense up till now. And then Zalis lays it back and it'll come back onto the edge of the penalty area. That's a special chance came from, if you remember. Can she get the cross in? Going this way and not wanting to beat a defender two or three times. Might have done better to get the first time cross in. And in the end, it's uh, Berkis Tatia. Now here's another dribbling chance on the edge of the box. And the shot comes in. It's been spelt. And surely she's going to tuck it away. She does. 1-0 to Iceland, and that's a shame for the goalkeeper. Erica Gonzalez then. The goal scorer for, for Spain. And it was after a mistake by the goalkeeper. So let's have another look at it again. So the, the shot comes in. Spill can't recover in time and inside again chance to cross the ball in once more and a header comes in but that was never going to threaten the Icelandic Manny Berkey's dot here in goal here comes the cross in again and it's headed out for Iceland to take their time I think but that, that's a teasing little ball it's coming to Wife Oh, and that's so unlucky. Took it first time outside of the right boot and just lifted it over and I think it just scraped the bar, didn't it? Icelandic confidence, though, is not as high as it was. That's a foul. And it's uh, Christian Stottier who is uh, marker. Oh, and there's a, another foul. Unfortunately, nice little bit of skill by Erica. Oh, and she's been pulled back for for a pullback for a cut out, and Spain will bring it away. They hope. And you know who is the one who is an, uh, another chance for Erica to get the ball in the box, and this time. Well taken by Berkis Dottier in the Icelandic goal. That will boost her confidence. In particular, Ortega. And the, the goalkeeper's lost it again. And the shot comes back off her knees. She didn't know too much. Of that. And now, again, space on that left-hand side. And going all the way. And a good save by the goalkeeper in the end. That was a... And again, there's... Bo players in the box and there's an offside flag up there I think but again Iceland looking a little wobbly at the back just at Medina who was uh, down temporarily but she's up and back in the action again and that's a free kick to I edge of the box and uh, Amazaga is uh, penalised for Looks as if she's going to try and flick the ball on, but the man, the ball breaks on the edge of the box. Surely 2 0, and it is. And the ball rammed in by Fiamma ruthlessly, one must say. She just uh, collected the loose ball and advanced, what, two, three paces and found the corner of the net. her defender inside but Dino can surely get the cross in this time can she find somebody can he pick someone out which cleared out by Petters dot here and then another shooting opportunity but that's too high and maybe a little we see now edge of the box goes past one goes past two shooting opportunity and just drags it horribly horribly wide well that was a golden opportunity An opportunity down the left-hand side again and the exotic looking flick coming in from Wifi trial 
and free kick given fantastically productive area for them this is Amazaga on the, in that two two minutes to be added at the end of this half and that'll be a free kick uh, not really shooting it um, yes I thought it might have been too far out ten minutes or so Iceland were pressing well but then when after 11 minutes and Fiamma after 36 giving Spain the advantage as we go into the second half this is the first group match of course in group B uh, Dina who saw a lot of the ball because uh, it was a very productive area down this uh, left hand side for into near post again headed out for Iceland and a shooting opportunity comes in but uh, the goalkeeper able to watch that saw away squared back in the penalty and there's an opening coming out and really I think uh, Zubieta should have done better with that oh it took a deflection so and now another chance to pull the ball at the byline and a shot comes in and deflected away and that's going to go behind for oh it's not it's a free kick still on the edge of the penalty area Medina can she get the cross in she does and it's gone behind for another corner into the middle of the goal this time and right across I think it was the the head of Petters dot here touched it first and it really could have gone anywhere Just it now commentators curse and a chance now for Iceland to advance down this left hand side and the ball had got there first but they've not got it clear yet and certainly Christian Stott here thought she was fouled there the referee didn't think well one in, in midfield and now a long ball to chase and it's getting behind the Spanish defence for the first time in a while and the referee has awarded the free kick warning them here comes the shooting opportunity though and again Spain have it back Fiamma getting early possession and into the penalty area and heads go in and well, the keeper dived away to her right but didn't get anywhere near it and I think the uh, it was Fernandez Martina from a cuts inside back to Corrales can she go past her player she can get it into the middle and it's a almost goal line clearance by number three Jord Vazgotier Save her team from going through. It's always been a tall order, and now it could be a third goal coming up now for Spain as it's crossed him. And there it is. Camacho gets the goal, set up by Corrales, the substitute. And that really does wrap it all up. Simple enough, tap in. And it's once again come from down this left hand side, that's where most of the. Uh, Spanish threat has come throughout the game and Iceland have never managed to deal with it. Corrales outpacing the defense.